In this video, I'll share some guidance on choosing and navigating a successful career path. Starting with a little uh, information about my background, I received a Bachelor's of Science in Civil Engineering from NC State University in 2005. I got in involved in a research project with a professor in the fall of 2004, and this led me to decide to pursue a master's degree, which I completed in 2006, and then began working full-time at NC State's Institute for Transportation Research and Education. After about 18 months, I decided to pursue a PhD part-time while working and have been full-time with ITRI since 2007, and I'm currently a registered professional engineer in the state of North Carolina. My research projects include the area of asset management, looking at horizontal curves, signs, retaining walls, and other transportation infrastructure, economic analysis, looking at ports, airports, roads, pedestrian and bicycle facilities, ferries, and other transportation assets. And I've also been involved in several books and manual projects relating to transport, transportation engineering uh, also, professionally, I'm engaged in educational efforts. We perform a Highway Engineering Concepts course and also do reviews for the FE and PE exam. And I'm also an adjunct professor in the Civil Engineering Department teaching an Intro to tra Transportation Engineering course and a Highway Design course. Some of the things I really enjoy about my job, I, I like being on campus and being involved with students. There's a lot of energy and new ide ideas being on campus and working with students. My job with ITRI is fully grant funded, so we have to propose on projects and win projects in order to sustain our functions. And so in that respect, some areas we, we serve as public employees and some we have similarities more similar to private consultants. I really enjoy the variety of work I do. Every year the projects change and sometimes very drastically. And I enjoy getting to learn new areas of transportation and apply uh, the knowledge I have from, from other areas to a new project. I really enjoy the flexibility I have with my, jobs, ac with my job academia allows more flexibility and that's been particularly helpful uh, with young children and also enjoy the ability to influence the work that I do, uh, getting to, to choose which projects we want to propose on, pursue those, and complete work in areas that we are interested in. And really when we look, when I, my, my best guidance to students about their education is really it's up to you. You're the largest factor in how much value you derive from your educational experiences, and this is really about you. No, no one can force you to do things. No one will be telling you it's time to wake up, to go to class. You're going to have to take initiative. You're going to be the determining factor on what value you get out of your education. So I recommend to treat it like a job. Show up on time. Be prepared. Turn off electronic devices while you're in class. And I personally recommend to take notes by hand. Sit in the front of the class. Engage with your instructor. Engage with your classmates join clubs, organizations, and groups, and develop relationships with your professors. They'll be valuable to help you find jobs and provide reference letters and other opportunities. And also encourage you to immerse yourself in new, new experiences, live on campus, get involved with the campus community, study abroad, learn how to be a global citizen, develop public speaking skills no matter what area you go into, you're going to need to learn how to communicate your work and your ideas with your peers and clients. Figure out what transferable skills you have. Build on those skills that are necessary for your job and target ways and challenges and new experiences to improve those skills. When you're through with school, it's important that you learn about the profession you want to join, take opportunities to get involved. My recommendation is that you pick an industry, not a job. So uh, for my field, I'm in the transportation industry and currently working a research job, but there are many other jobs within each industry 
And so there's a lot of opportunity as you get to know an industry. Uh, you may pick and choose different jobs depending on which aspects of the industry you enjoy more. I believe that passion follows competency. So it's unlikely that any field or industry is, is likely to strike a certain passion in you. But as you develop your skills and develop your competency, likely that passion will follow. So you may need to give it some time figure out exactly what you enjoy about the profession or the industry, and then you'll see likely see a passion develop. If you haven't already had one, get an internship, get a mentor, have some people to lean on that can give you advice as you progress in your career. Join professional organizations and then get involved with those organizations. There are a lot of, of interested individuals in every profession that would like to to mentor and pr to provide guidance to younger professionals and talk with people in the profession talk with people throughout each stage of their career talk with some young professionals some in the middle part of their careers and some finishing up try to learn from them and and have some guidance from them uh, on things that they they would change or improve upon from their career and ultimately, it's, it's about being flexible and being receptive and open to opportunity. It's, it's rare that anybody perfectly predicts how their career will develop. So I encourage you, if there's something that, that piques your interest, learn more about it and take the opportunity to, uh, to develop or see what that opportunity is about. The technical skills are very important in any job, but there's a lot of things that really require zero talent and can be just as important or maybe more important than the technical knowledge. This is being on time and showing up prepared, giving your best effort and having a positive attitude, being coachable, taking initiative, and being curious. All of these things are extremely important uh, in terms of, of being useful and being successful in your career. And really, most jobs have a huge component of persistence and perseverance that are critical to success just sticking with it being there and giving giving a good effort is is extremely important and and ultimately sometimes success is is not as transparent as we may hope it to be and the path towards that success is not very transparent but if you work to be useful success will generally follow so if you if you're making your your clients and your supervisors happy and giving them useful work products, generally success will follow those activities. Related to this, I know we, we usually have in our mind that we want a job that we're going to love, and so we want to do what we love and we'll never work a day. In, in general, I think that's, that's not maybe the most uh, accurate advice. We do want jobs that we love, but it's somewhat unrealistic to expect we'll love every aspect of every job every day. So you really want to find the right job that you're going to love some or most days, that you can tolerate other times, and it's still going to pay your bills. It's unlikely that anybody has a job that they absolutely love every single day. There's always going to be some things uh, that they, they don't enjoy doing but ultimately you want to have a job that, that most of the time you love what you're doing. You're going to spend a lot of time with your coworkers, so often uh, your, your relationship with your coworkers and supervisor are, are extremely important for your overall satisfaction in your job. And we also need to consider our, our jobs in a larger perspective of, of living a life and, and enjoying the life that, that we want to live something that I personally and my, my wife enjoy is traveling. I've had the opportunity through work uh, to teach courses and do researches, research projects uh, in, in Europe and in Abu Dhabi and in Australia. I really enjoy to be able to, tr to, to blend a, a personal uh, interest of travel into my professional life. And I've also, with my job, had the opportunity to take extended leave to travel to some, some very interesting places throughout the world. And the time off has allowed me to, to see those places and fully immerse myself in, uh, in various places around the world. I hope this advice has been somewhat useful for you. Uh, you know, choose what, what fits your life and your style 
and just be thinking about it. Be, be deliberate about your decisions throughout your career and get engaged, get out there and uh, do the best you can.